Hello and welcome. This video will cover the water density measurement or the function of temperature. For this experiment, we are using this hot plate with a stirring function to heat a certain amount of water, and this case is 800 milliliter. Then we are going to measure the density of water at different temperatures, starting from 20 degrees, then in an increment of 5 degrees each up to uh, 50 uh, to 60 degrees or when the water is really too hot to handle. We are going to use two methods to measure the density. First method is using a density bottle in here. We are using a 50 ml density bottle. And the second method is using a hydrometer with a proper scale. In order to heat the water, we are using this uh, ceramic hot plate. We are going to switch it on, and here between the modes, you can change between three different modes of settings. The stirring function, which is magnetic stirrer, we got a small magnet inside there, which will be turning uh, based on the RPM we set, which I'll show you in a second. Then we got temperature mode, which will set the temperature of the hot plate. And then the last mode is the timer. We are not using the timer at this experiment. So to start with, we are going to switch on the hot plate. And then in this screen, we'll get the required information. As we change the modes, the lights will start changing between these three modes, as I mentioned earlier. If you want to set the RPM of the stirring or the RPM of the magnet, we'll need to change. To the stirring mode, we'll need to press the knob and then start turning. As we do that, you can see the magnet start to turn. There is no specific RPM required for this experiment, so let's say around 200 RPMs, 150 should be fine, which will keep the water circulating and at least we can assume all the water is at that certain temperature. As we finish with that, we change the mode and now we can see stirring is on. We'll need to go now to heating and adjust the temperature. Now there is one point regarding the temperature we set the hot plate. As I mentioned, we are going to start from 20 degrees water exactly, then we'll rise the temperature up to five degrees. So for example, if we are at 25 and we are looking for 30 degrees, we, it's better to set the hot plate temperature to let's say 100, 150. Otherwise, if we set it to 35 exactly, this might take very long time for the water to heat up. So we can keep the hot plate always at 100 degrees or 150 and keep monitoring the temperature using this thermometer. Whenever we reach the temperature required, uh, we get a density reading using the uh, density bottle and the hydrometer. For example, now the temperature is 44, so we'll wait for a while till it reaches 45, then we get a density reading. For the hydrometer, as you can see, it comes in different shapes, different length, which might be sometimes long to fit it in the baker. So we might get a small measuring cylinder, something like that, and we keep the hydrometer inside slowly, where they are both glass and very fragile, so we'll keep them slowly inside till it touches the bottom of the measuring cylinder. If we want to measure the density of water, we'll get this thermometer out, and then we can use the baker. Now, as we are going to handle the baker and the water by hand, that's why we are not going for more than 60 degrees water temperature. Otherwise, it will be too hot to handle. So as you can see here, we'll add water to a certain level, which is the level where the hydrometer will be floating freely in the water. As we do that, we'll give it a moment and then we can get a density reading. I'm getting now a bit less than one at this moment. Similarly, at that same temperature, we are going to use the density bottle. Let's return this water back. Then I'll show you how to use the density bottle to measure the density. 
which will work on this experiment for water or any other liquid. We'll need to be using a scale, so we are weighing a scale. We need to make sure at the beginning the density bottle is dry. Then we'll need to get the weight of the density bottle and the cover. We'll need to record this weight because this will always be referring to density bottle uh, empty weight. Next, we'll need to fill this density bottle with water, which we can either use a funnel and fill it from the baker. We can get all the density bottle in. I'm going to use this tweezers here to get the density bottle full. I prefer this way because it makes sure that the density bottle is getting heated also to the same temperature of water rather than being stored in like room temperature then we put 40 degrees water in it it will start to cool down. As we do that we are going to close it make sure that any excess water leaves the bottle then we'll need to dry it and we can use some tissues to do that because we are interested in the water weight or water mass inside the bottle, not outside. We get the weight again. This increase in the mass is the mass of water. We have the mass of the density bottle alone. We uh, subtract it from this figure and we'll get the, dense, uh, the mass of water. So we have the mass. We have the volume, which is fixed volume of 50 milliliter in this uh, density bottle. We can calculate the density. So this is basically how to do measurements in this experiment and how to use a density bottle. Always, whenever you are done with the water, return it back because you will need to use it again in the next steps. Now, as you saw, there are many uh, many occasions of heat, uh, heat loss while we are getting the water to the measuring cylinder or measuring it with the density bottle uh, they are both being cooled down with the room temperature and as we take the time the temperatures might not be really 40 or 45 or 30 which we are referring to so it's always good to have another thermometer and do measurement of temperature before and after measuring the density of each step. Then you can take average temperature, which will be more in uh, the right temperature. So this, uh, this is basically the experiment. We'll just need to keep in mind this hot plate here, the white color ceramic hot plate, is going to be all heated to that specific temperature. Even you read in the thermometer that water temperature is 40 or 30, this hot plate will be based on the setting we set, which is around 100, 150, and can go up to 300 in this hot plate. So always never touch the hot plate as it's working or as it's just switched off. Always handle the water with care and be careful with the glassware. That is basically the experiment. Thank you for watching.